Welcome back to Pamela Drake Wilson, hopping on the train to growing young again. So today is, is kind of a serious show. I'm going to show you some exercises that will help you keep your bladder suspended. Uh, some people opt to have a bladder suspension where they go in and they lift, they sew it up and it works very temporarily because it's kind of the same principle as the facial muscles. Your muscles aren't working to support your bladder if you have that surgery. So it has to be done again. It's not permanent and it does more harm than good in the long run because it weakens the muscles because they no longer have to do the job. So don't judge me. I've got a little pot belly. I'm doing this with you. I decided to get back on the train to growing young myself and I'm just gonna take everybody with me. So here we go. This is Martha Graham technique. When I was getting my uh, dance concentration at Wayne State University with my degree in physical education, um, Martha Graham came for a semester and people got to dance with her. So. So I learned some priceless exercises, which have helped me, even though I've gotten a little chubby, it's helped me to keep my bladder suspended so I never have incontinence problems. And I don't want to. I don't want to buy those pads with inflation. <laughs> I don't need Kotex anymore. So there's not much advantage if you have to start buying pee pads, right? Okay, so you're going to sit with your spine very erect, and you're gonna roll down one vertebrae at a time. This is important because the abdominal muscle, it originates right at the bottom of the sternum, and it inserts down at the pubic crest. It's a long, narrow muscle. Your internal and external obliques actually comprise your waistline. So when people do abdominal exercises, they're really exercising the muscle that is right over the bladder and does do the work to suspend your bladder so that you don't have leakage. Rolling down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Coming up with your head, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You see how I'm curving down I'm curving down and I'm doing the same thing when I come up. I'm starting with my head and then my shoulders and this coming up this way. It's much more difficult. It stresses the entire length of the muscle that way. So it's far more effective. And down two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And up two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I just let my hands stay free. We don't want them to help. Then the other exercise, lay back, rest on your elbows, and you're just gonna do leg extensions. One, two, three, and you're gonna hold that one. That's when the abs really get to work. One, two, three, one, two, and hold. One, two, and hold. One, two, and hold. One, two, and hold. So I'd say, when you start out, if you haven't been exercising, you'll probably only be able to do 20 altogether. And as far as the roll down sit-ups go, you'll probably only be able to do about 15, but I'd like you to work up to 30 of these. And I'd like you to work up to 40 sit-ups. All right, there's more, but that will do the job to support the bladder so that you don't have to worry about becoming incontinent. So love you, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Bye.